All right, we're ready to do section 1.2.2. We're going to talk about the properties of the dot product that we just defined in the last section. All right, so if we have three vectors in Rn, the same dimension, u, v, and w, and I'm going to take k to be any real number, uh, first thing I know is the dot product is commutative. So whether you take u dot v or v dot u, you get the same result. Um, then I can distribute the dot product over a sum of vectors. So that means that I can multiply that u in, and I will get u dot v plus u dot w. Then if I have a real number multiplying a dot product, I can multiply u by it, or I can multiply v by it, and then take the dot product, and I'll get the same result. Last property, if I take v dot v, I get the length of v squared. All right, so I want to show you why these are true. So we'll prove a couple of them. We won't prove them all. You'll see that it's probably, um, it's pretty straightforward. And you'll see from the first example why two and three would be true. So I'm going to prove one and four. And um, before I do that, let me put in some notation. I'm going to assume that V is the vector with components V1, V2, Vn. And I'm going to assume that u, sorry, I need u, not w, so u1, u2, un. So in property 1, I want to compare u dot v and v dot u. Let's spell them both out. So u dot v is u1, v1, u2, v2, un, vn. Well, if I took v dot u, I get v1 u1, v2 u2, vn un. The only difference between the two is the order of the u1 versus v1. Now, these two I claim we know they're equal because these components u1, un, v1, vn, those are not vectors, they're real numbers. So it's just a regular product of real numbers, and we know that's commutative. So here I'll write as u1, un, v1, vn are real numbers. I can switch the order in a product of real numbers. Okay, so because I can do it for a product of real numbers, I'll be able to do it for um, a dot product of vectors. For two and three, you have a similar result. You're going to write both sides. You'll notice that it's just coming down to a really well-known property of real multiplication and addition. So let's do four. Four is different because it doesn't actually um, use properties or real numbers. It's just spelling out what v dot v would be. Now, if it's v dot v, I'm taking v1, v1, v2, v2, vn, vn. And so that will be v1 squared, v2 squared, vn squared. So v dot v is pretty simple. It's just the sum of the square of the components. If I take the norm of v squared, that will be square root of these squares. Square, the square root and the square in that order cancel completely. I don't even need an absolute value here. And even if I put one, it wouldn't be a problem because the interior is positive. All right, so the two are exactly the same. I don't even need to use a property of real numbers.